Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Chibi Robo for the Nintendo GameCube. It's been quite a while. Uh, last we left off, we got the Giga Robo battery. Uh, we got that ready to go to get charging. We need to insert money to get it actually going. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, we also got access to the upstairs, if I believe. Let me go ahead and check the Recyclotron. Uh, okay, I think we purchased the living room ladder, which is what we need. And we're going to spend today kind of exploring upstairs and see what it has to offer. The second half of the game, I like to say. Many, many new characters and adventures wait up there. It's also at nighttime, and I'm not sure if that's going to impact positively or negatively what we want to do up there. We'll just go find out, though. Drake Redcrest patrolling the corridors. What's he doing here, though? Silence, fool! You're calling me a fool? An ill wind blows tonight. Has something happened to Mr. and Mrs. Sanderson? Drake Redcrest also heard Jenny weep large, bitter tears. Curse you, sadness. <laughs> Curse you, sadness. That's going to be the title of this episode. I will continue my patrol upstairs. And just like that, he teleports. Probably upstairs. Okay. Yep, we have the ladder here. Good. The rangers are downstairs over there, so that probably means that Jenny is out and about up here. I'll try to climb this. Well, that was not very smart of me. Alright, let's go charge our battery and then retry what I just did. Where's the battery? Or where's the uh, outlet? Over here! I am not going to save. So upstairs, there's quite a few things that start to happen. Um, for one, we explore and we meet new characters and stuff like that, obviously. But the story also advances a little bit. Um, and what I mean by that is we see a little more in depth of the Sanderson's situation as a family. It's going to take a little bit for us to get up here, but that's fine. Eventually we'll get a ability to teleport up here. Not like an ability, but more of a, uh, an item, so to speak. And believe me, I really want to get that item because it takes a long time to get up here. Oh, and there's Jenny. Oh no. What's wrong, Jenny? She looks super freaking sad. Hello, Chibi. You came all the way up here because you heard Jenny crying, right? Jenny says thank you. Sunshine gave you 19 happy points. And 50 moolah. Jenny says she's upset because mom and dad aren't getting along. Mom won't let dad sleep in their bedroom. I want to go into mom's room, but I can't move since I'm a stuffed animal. Oh, Jenny. How do I look through my binoculars? Oh, well. See if we can't get inside this uh, this room. Oh, 
do a little parkour action. What's all that racket out there? I told you to keep quiet. Oh, it's just you, Chibo. Sorry, I thought you were Jenny's father. I'm balancing your checkbook right now. I need to be alone for a while, okay? Tee hee hee, Chibi Robo got yelled at. And you better get to bed too, young lady. Aww, hmm. Okay, so during the day, if we want to get permanent access to this room, we're going to have to go in there and flip that switch. Pretty easy peasy, though. Alright, we got to find an outlet so we can charge up. There's one over here. Okay, now we are going to head out to go to Jenny's room. Where she should be right now. It's the middle of the night. But I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to go in there and uh, show you guys what it's all about in there. A lot of tire tracks on the ground. I wonder what that's from. Jenny's room. To, force, to quote uh, Forrest Gump. Jenny. Jenny. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen Forrest Gump, so. And this is Jenny's room. Much like a typical younger girl's room, it's a lot of pink. <laughs> Let's talk to Drake Redgrass, see what's going on. Hello, hello. hello Space Hunter Robo. Hello, hello. Look at that. Hello, that towering hello. castle. Hello, hello. And all the way at the top of it. What do I see? Ah, ha, ha, a delightful damsel. She gazes down at me with lost eyes. I can tell her heart aches for justice. Listen. Space Hunter Code, Part 4. Love Justice of the Burning Passion. Drake Rekrust must speak to her. She needs my attention. However, a minor obstacle stands in my way. How am I supposed to get up here? Up there. Well, I don't know, considering you jumped through the floor between the first story and here, I consider this to be not much of a challenge at all, but whatever, what do I know? Aha! The one called Mr. M the one called Mort will know what to do. I'm at a loss, but destiny of a space hunter is to find the truth. I respect your moxie there, space hunter Drake Redcrest. Your gusto about what you do. There's a lot of dead flowers over here at the base of her castle. I wonder what these are all about. I'm sure we'll learn about them shortly. For now, let's go find Mort. And whoa, there's a lot of like hieroglyphic stuff in here. Underneath Jenny's bed. Very odd. And what looks like a sarcophagus sort of shoebox thing right here. Let's check it out. Oh boy. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sigh. D didn't I scare you? Of course you did. Oh, you're being nice. Okay, well, let's try that again and let's be brutally honest, I guess. Leave me alone. Sigh. Uh, I guess I can't redo that part. Odd. Let's do a little cleaning down here, though. There's a lot of trash. Never forget to clean in this game. Always make sure you get uh, your happy points up so you get more better batteries. We will become the number one Chibi Robo, I guarantee it. I 
after we're done uh, cleaning up this stuff, we'll try to talk to him again. Oh, what are we going to just do it right now? Huh, well, maybe I'll we'll have to come back here during the day. Maybe that'll be a better uh, time to talk to him. I probably should have lied and said no. Wait, don't I have a costume? That is... No, oh, no. I thought I had the bandage costume that you get when you run out of battery. I guess not. Alright, there should be enough trash for now. Let's go ahead and look around here. I'm sure a lot of the stuff we'll have to come back for to this place. Do a little cleaning on the ground. Let's also see if we can try to get up to the princess at the top. In fact, we can try that right now. Is there a trash can in this room? Let me check the map. Uh, trash can... I'm trying to look... It doesn't like point it out, I don't think, specifically on the map. Um, let's go ahead and charge our battery first. Well, let's try to climb up to the princess and then get a view from up there. Okay, let's see. How do we go about climbing this giant tower? Doesn't seem to be any... Oh, we might need a ladder. We might need to buy a ladder for this place. Unless there's some way to shimmy over there from somewhere else. Alright, let's climb to the top of this dresser and see what there is to be seen up there. I know it doesn't seem like that exciting what we're doing right now, but this is a brand new room and I, I don't know the correct response to that mummy guy, but I think I got it wrong. Uh, I don't know if actually anything would have happened if I said you didn't scare me or something, but we'll try it again tomorrow during the day. And I do see a trash can down there, so we are set in that department. Let's see if there's anything of note. This room is actually huge. Um, some crayons in there. Can't really do anything about that right now. Oh, the squirter's on the table. That's actually a very useful thing to get. I know I took some damage there, but that's fine. Let's go climb up and grab the squirter. That's actually a very useful item. I didn't realize we got it in here. I, I knew we got it at some point upstairs, but I didn't think it would be this first room. That's a squirter from a doctor's kit. It's probably Jenny's. Looks like you, you can pull up water with it. And you can spray it on all sorts of things. If you guys remember, there were frogs in the backyard that needed uh, some water. Probably be a good thing to test on that tomorrow. And here's a very creepy teddy bear channel. What the heck is he doing? I do not want to know. Go ahead and fly away from that creepy image. Blast and curses. I can't get to that castle. Perhaps the key to true justice is knowing when to surrender. Bah, what am I doing here anyway? If you recall, please tell me, Space Hunter Robo. I'm at a loss, but destiny of a space hunter is to find the truth. Oh, I'm sure they'll remember it. What, <laughs> what you were just telling me like five minutes ago. Let's go ahead and throw this trash away. Lob it in with a. Wow, there's a lot of trash that I actually picked up. I didn't think there was this many. Holy crap. 84 happy points, that's quite a bit, and then 840 moolah. Wow. 
We kicked butt, I have to say. Let me go try doing the Drake Redcrest pose in front of this guy, see if it gets him out. I doubt it, but... Yeah. There is actually a, uh... Ability you can or a, a suit you can get by using all of your energy. So I'm actually going to end this day by using all my energy. Oh wait, he's not gonna let me. Is he seriously not gonna let me do it? Okay. Well. You think I'm crazy, but uh if I'm not mistaken, we actually get a suit by doing this. And it also teleports you back to the Chibi House, so... It's also a shortcut if you need to get back downstairs very fast. There's no penalty to dying, as far as I know. Hey, there's the suit! There's the, uh... I forget what it's called, we'll find out sure, soon. I don't know that maybe we can make it to the top of the Chibi rankings together. Oh my god, I hate Tully. The only bad part of this majestic game, and if I click any button, I should wake up. You're alive! Heck yeah, I am. Yeah, and he's basically just telling us if our energy ever drops to zero, then we, get, we wake up here. Your faithful friend Tilly! That's me! We'll carry you back to- oh my god, I hate you. You're so annoying. You're like, Navi, but way more annoying. I actually kind of like Navi. Cool. Oh, did I wake up the next day? Did that end my day? I'm pretty sure it ended my day. I think I said that a little bit ago. 131 more happy points. That's not too many at all. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. Why not? And if I'm not mistaken, it should be during the day now. Uh, and if that's the case, then I will be ending the episode here because we go by days. On my Let's Play, anyway. Oh, it's no, it's during the night. Okay, we got some time to go. Let's do this. Um, is there anything else particular I wanted to do? We can go to the backyard and try to take care of the frogs, like I mentioned. They need some water, and we have a means to which to give them water now. Oh, this suit, by the way, its, uh, its function is this. Yeah, it's just falling over. It does nothing. Um, actually, you know what? I think there is actually a... Another suit we can get by passing out with this. Wait, do I... I think I just have to lay here like this for a little bit. I think if you lay here long enough... Yeah. Are you alright, Chibi Robo? Yeah, I think we get another suit by doing this. By laying there long enough using this suit. And indeed we do. This is the scary suit, or whatever. Sorry for all the suit acquiring, but this is kind of like... I do hope to get all the suits in the game, in this Let's Play. Uh, no, I don't want to save. Yeah, and I got a brand new suit again. There's two. Those are two very easy ones to get. They're not. They're not too difficult at all. This one's actually kind of cool. This one does this. Yeah, it actually has like a cool, like Halloween spooky effect. All right, enough of that shenanigans. Let's go take care of the frogs before the day ends. We'll see if we can. I wonder if there's actually any water outside though. Let's go ahead and take this off for now. OK, 
Okay, the frogs are over there. Or the one frog. Uh, let's see if we can find some water. Oh, and I think the pirate ship is underneath here. Do we have the spoon yet? No, we still need the spoon. Uh, with the spoon, we can uncover the pirate ship for Plankbeard. And uh, get that taken care of. And, oh, there's water right here. And I suck this up. Okay, that did nothing. There we go. Oh my god, can I make it to the frog though? Please game, let me make it to the frog. There we go. Ribbit. Frida just gave you seven happy points. Spread the happiness. Let's try that again. Ribbit, ribbit. Frida gave you seven happy points. Let's see what one more will do. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Yeah, frog revived. Spread the happiness. Nice work. Way to go, Chibi Robo. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The frog seems to be saying something. I don't understand this strange language. Maybe if you spoke a little bit faster, I could understand you too. Oh, I think we actually get another suit. Yeah, the frog suit. Cool. Thank you, Ribbit. I'm fine now. Thank you. My boyfriend's lost in that house, and I'm tired of waiting around, Ribbit. Now that you're one of us, you can speak Ribbitese too. Cool, huh? Isn't it just the greatest, Ribbit? Now that we can communicate, I have to ask you a favor. Could you please find my lost boyfriend, Ribbit? He's probably collapsed somewhere, all alone, without even a fly to eat, Ribbit. If you find him, I want you to bring him here. I'm counting on you, Ribbit. I wonder if I can talk to Jenny now. It's been a long time since I've done a lot of stuff in this game, so I'm kind of curious. What does this suit even do? Oh my god, that's so freaking adorable! Okay, I'm not going to use any more energy because I want this day to end. But, uh... There's no outlets out here either, so i got to go inside to recharge. Very productive day. We explored Jenny's room. Found out a nice situation going on in there with the princess and the mummy. Uh, we'll learn more about that the next day, I guarantee that. Um, and we also got the frog suit, we got the Halloween ghost suit, we got the injured suit. All in quick su succession. I didn't plan on doing that, but again, they were very easy to do, so. I'll go ahead and save one last time. This frog suit's freaking adorable, man. I love how it just does a little, like, ribbit, like, jump, and a little music note. Pretty damn cute, if you ask me. Alright, now we just wait for the day to end. It should be done very soon. There it is. Way to go. I think we can call it a day. I don't think he's going to have anything too important to tell us here at the end, but... I was going to adjust her happy point again, because I got 14 more. I got 14 points and I rose 100 points in the rankings. That seems a little bit crazy to me. Oh wait, I should probably save while I'm still in here so I can start the next episode in this room. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. No, 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 I don't care about my chimney ranking. Shut up. Alright guys. This has been another episode of Let's Play Chippy Robo. I apologize for the hiatus, but a lot of things going on in my life. And uh, this got put to the wayside a little bit, but I am back, and we are going to finish this game. Until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle, hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.